Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of See You Next Tuesday, starring myself and my Kathy. co-host. But before we get started with the show, uh, Kathy <laughs> wanted to say a couple of words. So, Kathy. Um, yeah. So, yeah, before we start the show, I'd like to do a little for the people watching and everybody out there to do a moment of silence for a fellow comic that we lost over the weekend. Um, it hit the comedy scene real hard, his friends, his family, his girlfriend, um, for James Raniolo. Um, so if everybody could just do like a moment of silence in honor of James right now, we'd appreciate that. Okay. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. That was very nice. Yeah. Really a great guy and really a big loss. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He was really, <clears throat> he was really an amazing guy. Very well comic, you know. He was um, producing his own shows. He like, you know, he was very involved with the community, you know. And like the comedy industry on Long Island, you know, there's certain people that yeah, are like, like a yeah, it's a of, tight, yeah, yeah, like we're like family, you know. And he was one of those standout guys like that. Or I should say stand up guys because he was just great. Oh, you made it funny. Yeah. That's cute. Because <clears throat> that's what he would want. That That's true. That he would want that. He was yeah. a, a really good guy. But the good die young and pricks live forever. So Kathy and I aren't going anywhere. Yeah. So he'd be tuning in the show 50 years from now. <laughs> so, Still going. See you next Tuesday. You know. I, I, uh, uh, right. So um, while all this was happening, <clears throat> Kathy, selfish bitch that she is, was on vacation. So uh, what happened? What'd you do? Oh, I went to Virginia um, to visit my girlfriend with my family, my sister, my brother, and that my br my brother-in-law. Oh God, uh, <laughs> and my niece and my cousin, and we had a really good time. We went to an Airbnb. Excuse me, I'm burping up the French fries with mozzarella cheese. Oh God, don't! Uh, you're not gonna stomachache, please. I know. Okay. Right before we started, she was like, <laughs> "I might have to walk away and take a dump." Yeah, I. I don't know if I said dumb. I might have said dumb. No, you were saying the other one because I'm going to try and see who could be less vulgar tonight. That, that wasn't for public consumption. Anyway, Maddie's watching. Hi, Maddie and Bruno. So, hey, Bruno. Thank you for watching. <clears throat> yeah, so Virginia is like, they're just, they're so slow paced and it's really nice and I think it's a good thing. But when you're from New York and you're from New York, like myself and my family, you just like, I, I went to the restaurant and my cousin and I are just like, all right. Like, and she was just like, so what can I get for you? And I was like, and we tell her and then she's like, so you, and I'm like, we're hungry. Like we have no patience. Amy just fucking startled me. And I'm from New York. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, let's go. Let's go. We don't have time for this. Then I had to take a shit in the bathroom. Kathy also has a dry cough. She says that it's not from COVID. <laughs> It's I, from the weather in Virginia. I think she got a dry call from a girl who's a wet ass pussy. But who said that? I said that. Oh. I could be wrong though. I mean, I have been before. Hey <laughs> Anne, good evening. How are you? <laughs> hey Maddie. <clears throat> That's why I'm sucking on dum dums. Yeah, tonight we went to CVS and we had to task ourselves with finding a product aligned with the pe kind of people we are. So what I got smart. Done? I got smart water. And Kathy got dum dums. No, that is not what happened. That's what happened. No, because that's what no, happened. I just said I wanted to suck on something, and then I was like, I need some dum dums. I need something to like suck on. Yes. But why I... did you never drink smart water? Hey John, what's going on? Hey John, I I drink smart water all the time. I just don't drink it here. But I, I always I, drink it. I don't want to shove it in your face. Well, it wasn't working for you, was it? No, that's so, why I went to Essentia. Essentia. What does that even mean? And, and dum dums. What does that even mean? I think it's a made up word to make it sound expensive. It's all about marketing, right? It's all about the marketing, exactly. Here's a shitty five dollar bottle of water. <clears throat> but we call it Essentia, so you'll uh, pay you'll pay more for it. Yeah, I think mine costs more than yours and I have a sucking nipple on top. Yeah, I don't have a nipple, I just have a big wide it's something I gotta stick my whole mouth on <laughs> to get out. Oh uh, um <clears throat> yes. <clears throat> What? I don't have COVID. I hope you don't have COVID because if you have COVID, Doesn't... I'm going to have COVID because I'm like three feet away from you. This is three feet? Not even. There's like two and a half. Oh, you're doomed then. If that's how it really works. I'm, I'm going to get COVID from Kathy. 
why it because you're a hooker that's why (laughs) fucking hoe down crossing state lines to get pussy who said that you oh i said that you you. i said that about you crossing state lines to get pussy to have a nice vacation to get pussy to have a nice vacation do you tell me you don't have any pussy no i'm not saying anything (laughs) exactly because she did yeah there we go yeah that's my boy right there Explicit. Explicit content. That's right. Speaking of eating pussy, Kathy was trying. I'll, I'll let Bobby finish. Bobby, go ahead. Take your time. It's okay. All right, you got it? You good? All right, yeah, TV, MA. See, I'm like the mystery dum dumb. You don't know what you're going to You're not a mystery. You're not a mystery. Kathy was telling everybody how, when she was younger, how she wasn't a lesbian. She wasn't a lesbian. She wasn't a lesbian. But I got a picture of Kathy when she was a kid. Bobby, you want to pull a picture up for me? <laughs> That's a lesbian, straight up. No. That's that was, a straight up that lesbian. Was, that was when I was a rapper. I, yeah, that was also a few years ago when you told uh, everybody you were a lesbian. But that's a lesbian. Well, I appreciate you saying it was a few years ago, considering I was like a 15-year-old rapper. And a kid, hence so lesbian. Yeah, but a few years ago makes me feel really young because I'm really not that old then. Well, you are kind of young. How old are you? You're in your thirties, right? Your forties. You're in your forties. Oh, hell yeah. I'm still older than she is. Why you're in the fifties? I'm not in the fifties. Like, not yet. Oh, your your sister's watching. She said, "Oh my god!" She said, "Oh my god! Oh my god!" <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! So, <clears throat> yeah. So. When I was in Virginia, there was my, my girlfriend was talking about this big, like these weird, crickety, cockroachy bugs that have like wings and stuff. And we were like getting all concerned and nervous and stuff. And we're like, what the hell are these bugs? Oh, they're like they're like creatures from out of space. <clears throat> so we didn't come across any in the Airbnb. But when we got home, my cousin messages us and says, I took one home. So now her and my aunt are flying around the freaking house trying to kill this bug that's like probably like something from out of space or some shit. Then she Googles it. So now New York, New York is overpopulating with these weird bugs. They're just like these half crickety flyy. Oh, those like spotted lantern flies that they tell you to kill. Yeah, the, 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 those. And then my sister's like, you have to kill them. And she's no, like, you do. You vegan, do. like, don't kill anything. And she's like, you got to kill them. Yeah, because they're killing all the trees and the, all the shit. Oh, so they're fuckers. Exactly. They are. Um, John, Johnny uh, Johnny Lambro said, Kathy's got bars. I think he meant you were behind bars. But he said, got bars. What does so got bars mean? Yes, I was behind them. Because you're but... a rapper. You got bars. Oh, How do you not know bars? this? Yeah. Like verses, like bars. I don't know that. Holy shit, you the whitest rapper to ever lived. No. So, <laughs> I'm serious. Um, your sister said palmetto bugs. Okay, but damn, you're all fucking loud. Turn it down. No, because I'm really concerned because the I ended up finding a bug last night too because we both arrived back home in New York. There's a weird bug that's looking cricket slash drone insect. Are you sure you weren't high? I don't smoke. Okay, good. good um, and I don't do what the lady does at the diner either. So, like, th- I was, it spent me a half an hour trying to figure out how to kill this bug. I was on FaceTime with my girlfriend, and I'm like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Yet, us humans that are so big, we're so scared of killing a freaking thing like this. Well, then again, it was, like, actually, like, a fucking softball. Maybe that's because a freaking parasite you can't even see can kill you, so it doesn't matter how big it is. Size doesn't always matter, Kathy. Speaking of... Kathy's always got the knowledge. I'm your, always surrounded by people that are smarter than me. Your girlfriend hasn't chimed in yet. I'm a little concerned. Is everything okay? <laughs> no, usually she's like, like, yeah, clockwork. Spot. Is she still, or like, still shaking from now? He's clockwork orange. <laughs> what? No, it's, it's like that. You're talking about two different bugs. You're talking <laughs> yes, about two different no, bugs. No, but my point is, how come mine is so different from everybody else's? I think it's. It's it. There's something from the other country sending them in little cameras or something. I I didn't kill him. I let him go. So now I don't know if he's gonna come back in. Yeah, Kathy's big on that bail reform shit. She applies into bugs too. She won't kill it, so it's gonna come back in invader spacing. <laughs> You're such a fucking liberal. I swear to God. And I'm liberal too, but I'm not that liberal. 
I'm gonna kill that motherfucker straight up. But, but what if the guts and then things started happening? And what if the babies come out and then the babies come out at night and then all of a sudden they're in my ear holes and my nose holes and my ew, mouth ew. hole? All right, would you stop? That's fucking That's disgusting. That's a holy night. All, <laughs> inse- the- all insects need to be destroyed. Thank you. Who said that? Jo- Johnny Lambro said it. All insects, not bees. All, all insects. No, not bees. Are bees insects though? Yeah, bees are insects. And if it wasn't for bees, we wouldn't be breathing the oxygen. See, I do know some things. Yeah, I um, mm-hmm. yeah, I saw Grease too as well. They talk about pollination. Grease, Grease two, the movie. No, episode. I never watched that. Yo, that was like the awesomest movie. It's better than the first one. I know a lot of people can disagree, but Reproduction was a fire song. I'm just letting you know. I don't know. So I saw I saw Dave Chappelle Wednesday. Oh, how did that go? It was good. I took my friend who's liberal as fuck, and um. A lot of people gave me shit. Why? For seeing Chappelle, because he does all the anti-trans shit. And these are the same motherfuckers that still listen to Michael Jackson music when you know you fucked those kids. <laughs> so don't take your hypocritical I, shit out of my face. Get your political shit out of my face. Exactly. I just, I'm just not really a fan of yo, him. Just yo, in yo, yo, I love your girlfriend. I'm telling you, you better stay in your game because I'm a taker. Because she's agrees to as a favorite. That's my girl right there. So you better not let her down. I'm not. I'm going to swoop right in. Okay. I'm telling you right now. I'm I'm I'll be honest about it. You won't even know. You're gonna swoop in flying in like the bug that was on my ceiling? Yeah, and I'm gonna live because I know you don't kill nothing. <laughs> I'm gonna make it. No, I will kill ones that have like that really bug me. Wait. Yo, Heather, what's your favorite song in Greece too? It might be Cool Rider, because that's a good song. But I don't even know that song. Is, how do you not know that song? What is it? Cool ride. Oh no, that's no, free ride. No, it's that's from Dazed and Confused. I was no. watching that instead of the dancing thing. You can't be haunted. Like... Here we go. <laughs> I'm not sure if I know it, so. How do you not know this song? I bet my sister does. Heather, you jamming out right now? You are. She's dancing naked in the bedroom. I know it. I know it. <laughs> that's the bit. That's the best right there. That's Never heard that song. That's the shit. Score tonight, girl. For, score tonight. That's for what? That's a that's a song about bowling. You were thinking about sex because you're thinking about you're still thinking about your girlfriend. Yeah, but what what what? We still talk about so. I heard MJ went T he and Aaron Carter's brown. <laughs> Okay, I would like to hear it. Yeah, that's awesome. I couldn't hear that. Pre- on press one for English. Well, I found press on. one for English. I you want you want, you want to hear it? Hold on. Uh, Greece. No, he said that, that person who said it said MJ something and something about poop. Oh, he went in the stink guy. I mean, he's brown eye. His who? who did? Michael Jackson and Aaron Carter. Yeah, but you left out the Aaron Carter part. I didn't hear that. They had sex. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. What? I don't know. I wasn't there. That's yeah, so is this like fake news, like Fox Five? I don't know. <laughs> it could be. It could be like Fox News. Did I say Fox Five? This is for you. No, it's like this Fox. is for your girlfriend. Hit me with your bad shot. No. What? They took the the background. That's hit me with your best shot. It's not. But they did. They stole that. They stole that. I'm getting in. Okay. I gotta stop. Yeah, it's yeah. It's gonna that. be a whole like it's dance gonna be a whole fucking party. She's right gonna now. get on top like Yo, Coyote Ugly. Fuck. Yeah, it's gonna be ugly, all right? <laughs> Coyote Ugly was actually a good movie. Yeah. No, that was excellent. Yo, fuck, can't find the moonlight. Type oh, Yo, God, that, that touched me right fire. there. That it's really touched me. So- Coyote Ugly. Good shit. Let's give it up for Coyote Ugly. One of my favorite movies. Let's suck on that black nipple. <laughs> <laughs> mama. You uh, have really anyway. big boobs. I mean, I want to squeeze them. I mean, mama. 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 All right. Anyway. Okay. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> what else? What else was your weekend like? Um, I ate a lot of gluten. You ate a lot of gluten? Mm-hmm. You're still standing, though. I know. How do you, if you have a, if you're allergic to gluten, how can you eat gluten and still be? Here? I'm not allergic to it though. 
Oh, it just disagrees. With she you. just said to try to cut it out to avoid inflammation. So you're but she also gave me, now. but she also gave me steroids. steroids. So I don't know which one's working and which one's not. But now I gained five freaking pounds because of the steroids, and I have water retention, and I'm fat. You're not fat. No, I'm bloated. Bloated? Who's Ted? Oh, you blue Ted? <laughs> Who's Ted? <laughs> The movie. <laughs> I don't want to blow it. Yo, yo, get that <laughs> fucking COVID cough away from me. Stop it. Mike, my, my, uh, Bobby, you got like wow. barber, you got like barbasol, like that blue shit they have in the barbasol. Yeah, remember I that? thought you were gonna say barbecue sauce. No, no, like the sh- blue yeah. shit they have in the hair salons. Kevin knows what I'm talking about. You got to dip the mic in that shit after you're done with it. The blue stuff. Oh yes, that they put the combs. Yes, yes, yes. That, that, that the thing. Yeah. Pull it up Why? That's it? stronger than regular sanitizer. I, I don't know. So. Get rid of the COVID nineteen. Yo, uh, who's uh? Wait, let's see. Bruno saying Greg stay safe. Oh, Greg's in Florida. Yo, be careful oh, with the, the hurricane. hurricane. It's coming tomorrow. Yeah, steroids, Kathy. You gotta come train with me. You'll be get jacked. You'll be, you'll be jacked as fuck in a week. Johnny Lambros. Oh, all right, Johnny. Yeah, he's uh he's taking over the chat here. Yeah. Well, that's good. Any other comments? We gotta keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Proud of you, Johnny. Yeah, keep it up. You know, I'm a little, I'm still, Heather's not chiming in as much as usual. You're right, she's just listening. I look forward to her comments, so she makes me laugh. I know. She is, and she's gorgeous. So does my sister. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, your sister's good, too. (laughs) (laughs) You're good, too. That's good. That's good. If people only knew. All right, so let's explain it to him. Okay. So pretty much after every show, a lot of the comics will line up, say goodbye to the audience, right? And without fail, without fail, people will leave. And they'll see a comic. It's like, oh, you were great. You were awesome. And then the comic sit next to him. They'll be like, yeah, you were good too. <laughs> so Kathy and I were talking to. Uh, we don't want to say her name because she was good too. Uh, we were talking to somebody whose Another mother comic. is also a comedian. And she's a comedian. And oh, oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> well, I'm not going to give you the name. No, you figured it out. <laughs> but go ahead. But, so, and we were talking about it. And like, we're out there. And like, oh, you were great. You were great. Yeah, you were good too. <laughs> so. So then that very same night, Kathy's standing next to me. And I was first. And I think it's I think it's the person who is second is what happens. So somebody says, you were great. And then they look at Kathy and they're like, you were good too. <laughs> Hence why she said to, about but, my sister, but, she's good too. Yeah, but as, yeah, that was fucking, that was good. Though. That you was know, really was good. good. Good timing. But it had nothing to do with who was better. If it you're just, first, you get the great or the awesome and whatever. And if you're second, you get, and you were good too. Yeah. That's just what it is. It's or just like, they just have sympathy, like, oh, she's standing there, like, looking like a deer in headlights. Like, I feel bad. She sucked. Johnny so David, good too. Johnny Lambrose, I'm like a thumb in your ass. Uncomfortable at first, but then not so bad. You'll get used to me. Oh, yeah, that's good. I, I don't, I don't, is that like a quote from a movie or is that no, just that's something him, I just guess. dreamed up and that's pretty, that's pretty graphic, actually. Yeah, that, but, but it's a good metaphor. I have a green thumb, but not a brown thumb. I have a pink one. I know why it's pink. Why? Because it was in your girlfriend's. <laughs> I can't. You can't lay off that. Oh, God. I can't get my nipple out of it. I, excuse me? <laughs> Kathy's having problems with her nipple. Just one. I'm starting to get itchy. The other one's fine. Well, actually, Kathy has three nipples. What? Yeah, three nipples. One, two, three. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Is a black nipple bigger than your other nipples, or is it the same size? Because usually, you know what they say. No, it's bigger. It is bigger, right? I don't think so. Then BB any of the big black nipple. Excuse me. What? Excuse me. Almost as what? A who? <laughs> <laughs> you were talking about hypocrites earlier. You were gonna say something. No, no, I said what I said because I don't like people that it's the same people that say that people like you and me are an abomination, you know, because you're in a woman and I'm, you know, now a girl. Into uh, the everything. same people that eat bacon and get tattoos and work on Sunday. Oh, well, motherfucker, you should be stoned to death. I don't mean with <laughs> drugs. I mean, like, with actual rocks right, yeah. and shit. So you can't pick and choose. Which you want to Exactly. Be like, either you are a full bag on, about. Like, the guy that runs Chick-fil-A is a douchebag. But they're closed on Sundays, so I got to give it up for them. They at least adhere to their beliefs. They're really closed on Sundays? Yes. I've never been to a Chick-fil-A. Me either. I want to eat their fucking food. But wait, but a- wait. Oh, was that the, the one that threw someone out? What was that? But why don't you like them? Why don't you like the guy? Because uh, that guy Dan Kathy or whatever, he he donates to anti-gay uh, 
lawmakers, Republicans, let's call it what it is, and whatnot, and they sponsor anti-gay all bullshit. I don't know. So I'm not a fan. But somebody had a good idea. They were going to buy a whole bunch of Chick-fil-A food and freeze it and then go there on Sunday with a truck and call it a side chick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 that's like the guy that opens up like a dog grooming salon and call mm. it cut a bitch. <laughs> oh, because the dog is a bitch. Yeah. Right, yo, Who came up with that? I don't like that. I, what, I don't know. It's like a thing. Wait, that takes me back to this weekend. There was something that I was talking about. Why do they call it that? Oh, no. I was at work. Why, why do they call why do they call a cat a pussy cat? Like a pussy cat. And then all of a sudden, years after, they want to call the woman's private part a pussy. I, well, that so that's is weird. A why did they where yeah. did that stem from? Like, I, that's a question for our audience because our audience is actually really smart and they come up with stuff. Oh, you're saying I'm not. No, because I have no fucking idea either why no. they call a pussy but, cat. Pussy no, cat. You wait, if you see a cat walking by right now, you're gonna say, Oh, look at the cat or look at the pussy cat. What do you be honest? Look, look at that pussy cat. What about kitty cat? But I want to know what you're gonna say if you see one crawling into Bobby's studio right now. So look at that feline. No, you're not. You're maybe, lying. Maybe that's why. Fee, right? Like female, feline, pussy cat, pussy. You lost me here, on feline. Here, pussy. Pussy. A feline. Cat's feline. I know. Dog's canine. Cat's feline. Yeah, but why? I don't just don't understand why they came up with that. Like, why are you gonna take the name of an animal and then call it the hoo ha? I don't know, but Johnny's excited with all the pussy talk. We keep saying pussy. I think we uh, said pussy. More times tonight than we eight had. weeks. Yeah, probably. Oh yeah, didn't I think it was four? Bobby, how many pussies tonight? <laughs> he goes, what? What? He's sucking on the dum dums I gave him. He is. He's sucking on the. He's dum-dums. so happy. Like it was Halloween for him. He was like, oh, I want a couple. Well, the Halloween candy's out. Oh yeah, because you got a pumpkin. I got a shape. Reese's pumpkin. I also got. Hold on. I don't know if you guys have ever had these Biscoff biscuits, Lotus or whatever. They give these on uh, on the Delta flights. These biscuits are the bomb. And Kathy's me calling me an old, la- old lady. She's like 85. I got to get my biscuits. First off, did you get the I'm tea fo- while you were I'm, at it? I'm 47. I'll be 48 this year. I'm damn near 50. I don't fucking look in day over 35. So kiss it. Have a biscuit. Have a biscuit. <laughs> kiss it. And dip it in the tea. Uh, and then invite everybody over for bingo. You know, Gertrude and um, Eleanor. Where the old Jewish woman come from? I don't know. <laughs> Oy vey. It just sounded right at the time. It was pretty spot on. I gotta give you. Yeah, I'm spotting. <laughs> I always wait till she's drinking oh, just to shit. say dumb stuff. Dumb shit. Dumb I, shit. For those of you who don't know what she's talking about because we have some male audience members, Kathy's talking about her period. Kathy's on her period. We are not on the same cycle because I don't get a period. She bleeds out of her ass. Yes, I have a colon. <laughs> I mean, mine bleeds too. Your colon? Yeah. My asshole. Do you have, hem- you have hemorrhoids? Yeah. How did you get hemorrhoids? It, it's hereditary maybe? Is it? Was it from an- anal? I never did that. You never did anal? No, come on. You never did anal? I did an exit only. Not really. Yes. You never got a prostate exam? Oh, wait. That's right. Only I get those. <laughs> I get confused sometimes. I don't Wait, know. a prostate exam, you have to, they have to put their finger in your butt? Yep, they do. I have to get mammograms, which I have to do uh, September 16th. I have to get a mammogram. And I have to get a prostate exam. So I get my boobs squeezed and a finger shit. on my ass. Yep. Because She's, I fucking chose to do this with my life. Because I'm a sick bitch. She's getting foreplay at the doctor. <laughs> it's not foreplay. <laughs> But not before, it's three so play. It's three play. She got wah 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 wah. Oh my god! This these my my biscuits are your girl. Your girlfriend loves my biscuits. She loves her biscuits. What? My that? biscuits are I never her heard of them before. She says, "Why are we not best friends? Why are we not best friends? Why haven't that met you yet?" Some that, that, this, that's a conspiracy. Here, huh? You're keeping her from me. I am not. You absolutely are. Not. You are too. I don't see you flying to Virginia or driving in the car with me and. My sister and the family, like the Griswolds. Oh, if I was getting a piece of ass, I'd probably fly to Virginia too, but I'm not. That's not what it's about. It's about a family trip. I right, fine. Next time you go see your girlfriend, no sex. Exactly. Anyway, 
We'll put you on the, the roof and we'll tie you up. Wait, what? I no, like, okay, she heard actually, tie I, you up. I, like, I like you can no, jump. No, I like getting tied up. It's actually legit. Oh, it's I'd actually, be scared. I'd have PTSD. I had somebody from Craigslist tie me up in my apartment. Met him for the first time. Didn't give a fuck. Okay, that's really ballsy. My ex is 47 slash 48. Why are you also angry in that age group? Jeez. First off, Who's angry? Who's I angry? wouldn't say that I'm angry. Would you say that Who I'm angry? That? I no? might be like a militant feminist, but that's not anger. You confuse that with anger. Um, and Melissa said, Kathy, tell them how you almost died. You didn't come up for air, did you? Wait, how did I almost die? Wait, over the weekend? I don't know. Melissa said, Kathy, tell them how you almost died. There's many times. I don't know what well, she's talking the about latest, the weekend. Give me the latest, like this weekend. I don't know if I almost died this weekend. She's got to well, refresh Mel Dory's Mel memory. Melissa, you have to uh, jog her memory. Or Joey. Because almost dying is obviously not a traumatic event for this bitch. <laughs> it happens on the regular. <laughs> Wait, what, right? what, what time and day was that? Because I, I, I almost died all the time. Oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. Not this weekend. Oh, re thanks for being vague. Okay, well, that doesn't really break it down because when I was a kid, I swallowed pins. I stuck my finger in something and it was bleeding and hanging it. All, like So there's went many things. <laughs> do you ever, you ever, you ever read, uh, uh, what do you call those things, captions? It it's, says, mean, it's the prawn eye. I don't know what the fuck that even I means. don't know what the hell you talk about. When you bled out. <laughs> oh, I had a colonoscopy. And I therefore um, came home and I was bleeding profusely out of my asshole. And I. Was... How did they let you leave? No, because I didn't bleed until I got home. How? Like I was just leg spotting. And then I got home and then I was pure blood was just shooting out of my asshole for like 12 your, hours. Your brother in law said hemorrhoid. H E M M R O. <laughs> he doesn't know how to spell it. Hemorrhoid. <laughs> he clearly didn't win the spelling bee. <laughs> I, yo, I got a dum dum for you, straight up. She's gonna bring it home. <laughs> She's got a dum dum for you. No, give him the smart water. It's no, oh yeah, you can have some. I'll give you a cup of this. Well, yeah, I, I must fucking die, but that's yeah. I don't know. I've had like three colonoscopies. I didn't bleed out. And then no, I had seven, and I bled at the seventh. Se seven. I know. I always want them. I ask them. I beg them. Can I get a colonoscopy? And he's like, but you already had seven when I. Why doing do you this. want a colonoscopy? Because I. Like, For someone who doesn't like anal, you fucking want a camera up your ass an awful lot of times. Because I'm sleeping. That's true, actually. It's the anesthesia. That's like the best shit. Knock you the fuck yeah. out. But then when you wake up, everybody's in the room. The the, the room. <laughs> Johnny Wait. Lambros calls it ass cherries. <laughs> <laughs> and then they have the curtains next, you know, and everybody comes out and it's, it's all like a fart fest. It's, it's like everyone just, view. it's all just because oh, oh, you got I, air coming I, out. Did I never tell you? All right, so my last colonoscopy was a couple years ago. So I get out of the room, I wake up, and you're in that other room, right? And oh, the, the guy, the guy, the guy, the other yeah, the guy is there. I guess the nurse or whatever. And he sees the discomfort on my face, and he goes, "It's okay." He goes, "You you can do it." I go, "Girls don't fart." He goes, "Yes, they do." So I try to hold it in, but I can't, and it comes out. It's like, Wah! <laughs> and he's looking at me, and I'm like, I know what you're thinking. Girls don't fart like that. <laughs> this shit was horrible. He was like, No, you sound like Charlie Brown's teacher. I, I know. I can't. Wah, 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 wah. I can't ever go back. It was. Oh no, they room to hemorrhoid. That's what it was. That's not when I bleed it out. Bled oh, out. Bled yeah. What up? We already discussed. Did they not cauterize it? Is that what it was? I didn't. She's mistaking. Mistaking it. Don't look at me like that. Kathy says you have her near-death experience wrong. Because Kathy would know. No, because I would. Because my sister picked me up and had blue lips. And I was living in Babylon. And I needed three blood transfusions. because, And I tried to sue the doctor. Maybe and the doctor was the one. lupus from. From someone's transfusion? Yes. Yeah, she said yes, it was. And I'm actually going to have to side with your sister. Because she's adamant that it, this is why you almost died. She's not, she's not giving an inch. Wait, no. She knows that it was because of the colonoscopy. No, she said it was when you had the hemorrhoid removed. No, I was clear as good as day after that. I was running a fucking running no, the no, fucking. I think gym. you're wrong. Think I'm you're not wrong. wrong. It was in 2016, 2017. I was living in Babylon. 
he fucked up. Then I tried to sue the doctor and I know his name because he was my doctor. But the one that gave me the hemorrhoid surgery was an Asian. The other one was the Indian. The That's Indian I tried wrong. to. I can't drive. You think they could fuck in? We can't keep doing that. Why not? I don't give a fuck. Are they going to cancel my career? I don't have a fucking career. <laughs> <laughs> I perform for the weekends and at bars and shit. I like how my sister thinks that she's my attorney. They removed something else then. They didn't. Re oh, they took out a polyp. It was when they removed the gerbil. Your brother was said, That's great. Yes. Oh, my little hamster you, you cupcake get, that get, they you, took out of my ass. You get the pumpkin. Good job. My little cupcake. That is great. That is awesome. No. The gerbil. Fuck. You want to know something that's really sick and disturbing, though, and gross? Speaking of the hemorrhoid surgery, you know when you bleed, it smells like something? I guess it smells like blood. What does blood smell like? Blood! What does it smell like to you? What? Ass? <laughs> fish? Yeah. Blood smells it's, like fish. It's, it's fish butt, they call it. I call it that. So... When maybe, I had the surgery, maybe your blood smells like fish. No, everybody's there are people that are green. You're just my, not, my, my, you my just blood, don't want to admit it. Maybe you have a like nose hole fish. smell problem. My blood don't smell like fish. So when I was dating my ex girlfriend, I was away in her sister's house and I just had gotten over the hemorrhoid surgery and I had a bloody bottom and I lost my underwear there. And I was nervous that her sister was going to find it or the family or the kids were going to find it because it smelled like fish bite. So whose bloody underwear is this? <laughs> bloody mercy. Um, your girlfriend said blood smells like metal. And actually, you'd be right. And why would you be right? Let's see if Kathy can get this. Because she knows everything? Why does blood smell like metal? Because it does. There's a... F why you gotta make me dumber than I am? You're not dumber than you are. Does that even make sense? No. Can I be dumber than I am? Iron. But I'm lacking iron. No, I'm not. I have a lot. I'm lacking D. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> D. 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 <laughs> See, your girlfriend got it. And your sister got it. And I got it. Oh, my God. All the smart See, people I in my did. life. And guess what? I'm the one that's Dory. Drink this. <laughs> now, Kathy... Kathy's one of the smartest people I know. That's okay, why I do, now, it, now this is that, going that, into a joke. Why, clearly. No, it's not a joke. That's why I do the podcast with her. Because I am allergic to stupid people. And I ain't got no rash around you. You're smart. You're my girl. Aw. Did someone tell you to say that? No. No. It's like she's going to be really upset. She's going to cry all night in her Justin Bieber pillow. Yeah, no, you good. Um, Iron baby, iron. I, I really do love her. Okay, I I, something's happening here. She's no, she's you. amazing. Everybody loves her. No, I know that. She's like, see, because I pick it good for my you, finale. You, how'd you guys meet? Tell me. When we were kids, we you, we talked about this already. No, we didn't. On one of the first episodes. No, the fuck, we didn't. Yes, we did. No, we didn't. And we were meant for each other. So how'd you meet? On the, the when we were kids in the same town. In in. Virginia. Oh, maybe it was when Kristen filled in when you were too busy. Oh, maybe. Maybe that was, it was only, that episode. Maybe that was only because I still weeks have not stood not you up. Ago. I didn't stand you up. I had a show. And the whole reason we do this is because we're comedians. And I had to perform. a show on a Tuesday night where there are five people there? Yeah, yeah, that's Or so seven. Yeah, the sold out show where they also fed us. Like you would pass that up. <laughs> like exactly. you would pass up the food. I only did the show because the food was free. No, I'm saying because it was not only was the food there. Um, there. The, your brother in law said a strap on doesn't count as D. Now, strap on is not vitamin D. You need the real thing. You need the actual dick. I don't need that at all. I have a dum dum. Do how many have you had so far? Two. <laughs> you Throw sure? Up. Yeah, Bobby had three. Bobby, Bobby was sucking those dum dums down. <laughs> He's still sucking on this last one. It's like how many licks to get to that the real dum dum? Straight up. Oh, what we got here? Oh, anyway. What? No, I just. Why am I holding my fist so tight? Like I'm gonna I don't punch know. Somebody. What are you doing? Like I, I don't know are what's giving, happening. Are you giving blood? What the fuck? <laughs> I don't like to do that. I get weak. I pass out almost. That's a Belinda, Belinda Carlisle song. What? I get weak. And my knees? No, it's just I get weak. That's the name of the song. That's some uses eighties trivia. Here we go again with the music. I don't know. How do you not know that? That's eighties. That's like girl, I know all that's the eighties. Music from the eighties. 
I know all 80s. I dance to 80s. I mean, I don't dance well, but I'm, I dance. Did I ever tell you the story when they shut the music off on me and when I was in the dance contest? No. I was 13. My sister How saved they shut me. shut off music in a dance contest? I was at United Skates. There was a dinosaur running, skating around. They had a competition. Me and my best friend with buck teeth and pigeon toes, we went dancing to try to, and we did the contest. And then the DJ shut the music off. That's how bad we were. And then my sister starts fighting him. She's like, you turn that back on. My sister and her friend are not done. And Kathy, and and Kathy was in the back like, please don't stop the music. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was about to cry. I was mortified. And then my sister had him turn it back on so we had to continue doing the stupid pigeon toe dance that we were doing. Can you roll a skate? A little bit. I can't roll a skate. I don't have the balance for it. You upset me with that story. Why? Because you wish that you could roll a skate? We, there was nothing to do with roller skating. Because they never learned how to roll a skate. You were at United Skates. Yeah, but we weren't skating. We were dancing. Baby, you know the go-go's heaven is a place on our uh, place. Oh, on, I love that song. Is a place on earth. Yes. All right. I get weak. Do you know Man About You from Belinda Carlisle? Man About You, man. Yes, exactly. Lost in your eyes. Yes. Be very and say all that bullshit. Yes, that was I don't want to. Belinda Carlisle. The, the, the stick is getting soggy. <clears throat> soggy stick. Nobody want it. Nobody wants it. Ain't nobody got time for that. Need dumb dumb Viagra. Dumb dumb Viagra. Yep. Emily and I are both really tired tonight. I'm exhausted. I am. And fucking, I am so. You bitch. You better not have COVID. I'm telling you straight up right now. No, you were tired before you got there. You can't have COVID. It doesn't begin with an L. So. <laughs> <laughs> I get, oh my god! I'm exact. <laughs> I can see Kathy on fucking like uh, Jeopardy. One of the categories, diseases that start with the letter L. I'll take it for 2,000. <laughs> Alex, please be a daily double. <laughs> Lupus, leukemia, yeah. whatever. Lyme disease. <laughs> it did like a larynge or something. Laryngitis. I got laryngitis too. I got Lyme. <laughs> Lovid. <laughs> I took the L train to become a lesbian. <laughs> yes. Except that's not a disease. But train. those crazy people might think it is. Well, lesbianism, right? Isn't that like a thing? Yeah. yeah but but... Lesbianic tendencies. <laughs> Lesbianist. I love, I love when people are like, what, did, what, did, what do you call a lesbian dinosaur? I mean, I would never say like that to you. Yeah. yeah, it's so stupid. What do you call a gay dinosaur? Megasaurus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, okay. That was hacky. That was okay. Bad. That was yeah. We're we're yeah. a little hacky tonight. Oh, that was really bad. Tired and hacky. I really am. I could fall asleep. Right I now. know. Me too. They're like, yeah. We could tell your energy's all. <laughs> like, your energy. Yeah, As no. you, it's contagious now. It's not. It's probably well. Could we have less viewers than we usually do? Because the I don't think the energy is there. Bobby, you got like cocaine or something back there? No, 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 no. That's not good. I've never done cocaine. I know, but that's not good. How about Adderall? Oh, I have some right here. Oh, do you? you have Adderall on you? Yeah. Why do you have Adderall on you? Because my doctor prescribes it to me. No, I get that it's prescription, but it's it's nine o'clock. No, at night. I carry all my pills. Every my my cousin, everybody make fun of me because like I carry around all my medication in my clonopin. It's like a walk my, my, my clonopin. Look at this. And vitamins. Those Flintstone vitamins? What the fuck? No. Look. Yo, what the fuck? They let you on planes with that shit? Try to cross the border, you're going to get arrested? Look, it's a B12 gummy. Adderall, clonopin, biotin. What's the Adderall? Motrin, D. This is why I need D. Yeah, Is that the Adderall? No, it's clonopin. Do you like one? No. Okay. That's a, what, like a set of them, right? That's, that'll really make you fall asleep. So I, I got things that, that I can fall asleep. So I got things that own. make you fall asleep, things that make you wake up, and things that help you because it's a vitamin. So you take something that gets you worked up. Then you take something to calm you back down. <laughs> then you take a vitamin. Yeah, just to stay healthy. Right. Because the other two aren't going to make me healthy. No, they're not going to make you healthy. <laughs> but I'm like, and then I'm like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I am cornholio. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of cornfields in Virginia, speaking of corn. Of course it was. And then I was trying to think of all the things you can make with corn. And how come when you shit... After eating corn, it comes out the same exact way. How can we pee after you eat asparagus? It smells funky. 
Or if you eat broccoli. Actually, I think your girlfriend's going to have the answer for that. Heather, did you care to chime in? Why oh asparagus makes pea smell funny? All the things you can make with corn. I'm just picturing that, that dude from uh, Forrest Gump. Uh, yeah, corn shrimp. fritter. No, the uh, shrimp. Popcorn corn, corn shrimp. dog. Hey, we call every types of shrimp. Shrimp cocktail, butterfly shrimp, coconut shrimp, shrimp scampi. Bubba, sh- Bubba Gum. Fucking Kathy Gump, what the fuck? Bubba Gum. Mama said that my magic shoes. Absolutely. It's genetic, but only happens to some people. What is? Well, I'm special. What's genetic? Corn? I get asparagus. No. Oh, asparagus is genetic? Well, it's not genetic. What happens to you is genetic. I guess you're predisposed to having smelly pee because it's handed down. From you know I, your you, parents and whatnot. If you drink enough water, your pee ain't gonna stink. Your girlfriend and I have something in common. Wait, do you does yours does your pee smell funny when you eat asparagus? No, it's happened, but it's the canned asparagus, the ones you eat when you get over. I thought young. you didn't like it in the can. <laughs> <laughs> it's the can version of the Green Giant. So That's the that. asparagus that makes you pee smell. No, any asparagus makes my pee smell. No, because I ate a frozen bag. Well, I'm not you. My and body it, is different. Okay, just like, what was it before? You're, you said that. <laughs> oh, that blood doesn't smell like fish. When I, when I say when I said freeze, you just freeze one time. <laughs> so what was it before? <laughs> Mama said I'm a special, so I got away. <laughs> She's like, stop. My mind excuse. What was that? I can't do it. That my mind Ever says. since I had vocal cord surgery, I can't do voices. I used to be able to do voices. I could do Elmo. I could do like la 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 la. Elmo. I can't do it anymore. She's like. <laughs> Sorry, I'm drawing. Yeah, it's fucked up. It's like it's fu- it's fucked up. I sound like fucking drunk Beavis. <laughs> 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 I can't even do it. You can't do nothing. You no. can't. That sucks. You sound like a twelve year old with a two pack a day happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, darn it! What? I'm I just thinking how tired the fuck I am. I see. I, I think I, something's going around. Not only the fly thing, the bug thing. Yeah, you're the one handing it around because you're gonna fucking get me sick. I'm not handing a lung. bug around. Oh, a bug. Yeah, yeah. Why do they call it a bug? I. You have a lot of fucking questions. Tonight. I do. You really? Do. I never learned when I was a child. <laughs> I was. I can't with you. I, can't. I was sitting in class and going, I don't know what's happening. Maybe one day I'll find the answer. So here I am finding the answer. So why do they call, call it a bug? bug? Oh, I have a bug. I had a bug. I can't go to work. Excuse what? me, I'm calling out today. Heather, I have a bug. Heather, why do they call it a bug? <laughs> uh, no, because she's I'm telling you, she said it bugs you with the fucking Encyclopedia Britannica and shit. Look at shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I am absolutely 100 percent sure she's doing this instead of. Hey Siri, why do they call it a bug? Why do we call them bugs? Okay. No, this is hey, about hey Siri. the insect. No, like a why stomach do they bug. Why call a disease a bug? Okay, here we go. I got it. Um, in the U.S., it's common to hear phrases as "I caught a stomach bug." There's a bug going around. I was sick with a 24-hour bug. When did bugs start being used in such a manner? Specifically, when did this definition pull from Merriam-Webster come into usage? A, a germ or microorganism, especially when causing disease. B, an unspecified or non-specific sickness, usually presumed due to a bug. For further background information, this is bullshit. Get can we make a long story short? <laughs> what? So, so I wonder if microorganisms were viewed as bugs rather early in the history of the word. And the history of microorganisms, or if that terminology was maybe applied later. Oh my gosh. As we're understanding I'm gone. image. I lost that. I don't know. Yeah. What is the answer? Your ADD's kicking. No, I want to know the answer. I not, don't... not hi. I just, anyway, no, I just gave, I just like gave when, you the answer. When you talk to annoying people and you're like, what did you do today? They're like, well, see, I was on my way to Dunkin' Donuts and I stomped at the stomp sign and then I saw a green bush on the side. Get to the fucking store. I want to know. I want to know. I want to know why they call it a bug, not some microorganisms that may be created. Da 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 ba ba da, ba 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 ba. Gone. Well, and I want to know what love is. That's what I want to know. Bug, because they're bugging. 
They bugged me out last night with him with his freaking drone. I think we need to stop talking about the bug because your brother-in-law said he thought this was a comedy podcast, not science class. Yeah. That's pretty oh funny. God, that's, as if. Yeah, that, that nobody likes us today. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Said, no, I'm gonna be honest. This one sucks. No. Yeah. Because my energy level is in the fucking toilet right now. Yeah, same. And, and maybe Kathy's... also because of what's going on in the comedy scene too. Well, yeah, the, I mean, it is the... kind of sad, but we discussed that. I'm over yeah. it now. So. Yeah, I know. I'm not over no, I know. Him. I no, he. Like, you know, no, it's... he needs to. Yeah, I mean, he. We got to make light of everything anyway. <clears throat> well, that's true. Not that though, because that was that was sad. I, I just if... like to know things, Joseph. I wonder if it was a bug. What? Thank, thank you. Um. Bobby? Too soon. Bobby. What? What's the matter? Somebody help me. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, the, uh, <clears throat> What's look, that? I think it's a bug. It's oh, bird. no, that's the one in my bed. It's a plane. It's a bug. Oh, my God. I'm so fucking tired. You are. Um, <clears throat> How about... How about what? You want to play a game? Not that game. <laughs> Come on. Let's play a game. Truth or dare? Okay. Uh... Here. So now, if you don't do it, then you don't really. Okay, what? truth. No, but if you don't do that either, what is the, the no, outcome? I, I will tell you the truth. Ask me any question you want. When have you known me to hold back? Yeah, I bet I can make you hold back. Right about now, when I ask you this truth question. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, this is going nowhere. I just wanted to have fun. Truth or dare? Truth. I want you to dare. I dare. See, there we go. Dare. Good. You had there to you change go. it to the truth. Okay, I dare. dare you to not tell the truth. Wait, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. You said truth or dare. I said dare. I dare you to tell the truth. Okay, go ahead. Tell the truth about something. And that's big. That's like. What your sister said earlier, tell them about the time you almost died. So, tell us about the the day that you. <laughs> Wait, what's your real name? Emily. Wait, no, which one were you born with? Not your real one. Joseph. Joseph. Uh, yes. That's what I thought. Joseph. What? No, you have the same name as my brother. I was Joseph Anthony. I was nice Italian. Irish boy. So what's your last name? The same. Oh. <laughs> Jazz. No, that's that teenage bitch. I am Joseph Anthony Santosis, but that's my dead name. They call it a dead name. Yes. I learned that over the weekend. How'd my you... girlfriend told me. She knows everything. Yeah, so you asked me about my dead name. You fucking inconsiderate hooker. <laughs> no. I yeah, that but no, that that's fine. Because we were we weren't talking about you, we were talking about somebody else. You're not the only one. It's not my sister's birthday. No, it's not my sister's <laughs> birthday, and that doesn't apply to me. Because <clears throat> I've been trying to rain on her parade every time it was her fucking birthday. Mm -hmm. Her birthday's coming up in November. Your sisters. Ask Can me you... what I'm getting. What are you getting? Okay, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh okay. We went to the diner again. <clears throat> And Emily is definitely going to bang the waiter. All right, the wife, let me take it. The waiter at the diner is hot, and he is. Yes. He's got, like, amazing eyes. He's a beautiful skin. He's taller, taller than me. Black, um, dark hair. Yeah, he's fucking, he's hot. He's, hot. he's really And hot. I go to Emily, I'm like, what nationality, like, what nationality do you think he, she, that he is? And she goes, not white. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Is that a, a race not white? Yeah, non-white. Yeah, not Caucasian. Yeah, but he's he is something beautiful. Yeah, he is. He's probably an islander or Mexican or or a ranger. What? No, you said islander. It's a hockey team. Anal ranger. What? That's a hockey team. Go on, go on, go. <laughs> I can't. We. I. But. I, he, Regardless of what he is or who he is. He's, he's really hot. Yeah, he's from an island. Yes. Long, Not long, long, long Island. <laughs> he's from Massapequa. He's probably fucking born here. We're like, maybe he's from Trinidad. <laughs> he's just really Italian and getting good tanned. Yeah, he's Italian with a fucking Spanish accent. 
<laughs> you could be both. I guess you could. Yes, everybody's mixed. I'm a mutt. Aren't Italians just Mexicans with good credit? <laughs> <laughs> with good credit. <laughs> wow. I'm Irish and German. What does that make me, Emily? Okay. Make sure the Give enemy. me my diagnosis. <laughs> the enemy? You're a fucking fascist. You're Italian and German. I'm not Italian. I said I open oh, your ears. Said Italian. Irish and German. I said Italian. Irish. Irish and German. I see you're a drunk. But Nazi. I have <laughs> so I'm a drunk Nazi. And I have Ukrainian, so add that to the mix. All right, so you're fighting for your homeland. That's good. Why you so I'm, an, I, I'm, I'm a drunk Nazi fighting for my homeland. Yeah. And what are you again? I'm Irish and Italian. So what does that make you? Well, I don't drink, so I'm not a drunk, and I don't tan, so I'm not really all that Italian. I don't know. I'm a, I'm a bitch without a country. So you're a corned beef mozzarella? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, pretty much. That is cheesy. That was yeah. so stupid. Yeah, mozzarella cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> I saw what you did there. You're so cheesy. You're mozzarella cheesy, girl. That's right. At least I ain't American cheesy. Get that fake ass cheese out. Yeah, of my she face. always says that it's fake. She's like, why are you gonna eat that? That's not and real. First cheese. of all, American cheese is fake. It's not even cheese. How come? It's like some fucking byproduct, something left over from whatever it is they made out of nuclear waste, and you eat that shit. So enjoy it. I don't get it. It's cheese. It's not cheese. It's not the craft singles in the plastic yeah, wrap. Yeah, that's some nasty shit. No, that's different than the other types. That's American cheese. What? Siri's on something. She just said on it. Probably on drugs. So we're getting to that time where we have to go to our segment, no Cunt of the Week. And Kathy has a cunt of her own, literally. Yeah. And she also has one <clears throat> to discuss on the show. So no, because you? good things always turn into bad things. You can never just be totally like, oh my god, this was the best time ever, or this was the best, yay, blah blah blah. There's always got to be one part that just goes wah wah wah. I saw it is. So I come home from a beautiful could, vacation. Could you not yell? Because I'm fucking going deaf. So if you're already going deaf, how, you probably can't really hear me. What? If you're going deaf, you probably can't really hear me. What? Oh. <laughs> And I fell for it. What the hell? That's so messed up. So I couldn't, I was just like, when I got that, all I thought was cunt of the week. So I came home for a beautiful vacation. And then, well, my brother-in-law actually messaged me and sent me the picture because I still have things under their address because I'm too lazy to change it. So he said, you got a ticket in DC for speeding. While I was at an amazing show that weekend, things were so good. And then I get slapped with that. Hundred dollars because I was going eleven miles over the speed limit, which is nothing. So your cunt of the week is the District of Columbia, bastards. That's a pretty good cunt. It is right. I think so. Like you're just gonna take pictures of people going a little bit fast. That's how they get paid. Yeah. They don't even have to be in their freaking cars. They have the freaking robots do yeah, it for I them. Got, I got busted doing five miles an hour, over five miles an hour over the speed limit, city. Because who the fuck drives 25 miles an hour? Nobody. I can run faster, faster than, than the car. It's ridiculous. It's, I, it's don't, the wouldn't taxi drivers get tickets all the time? Oh, you would <laughs> think so. So my cunt of the week, and I'm going to take it back to the beginning of the show, is heart disease. Because it shouldn't take somebody so young. Right. Sorry to get serious on you folks, but it's what it is. 39 years old, way too fucking young. And that's just bullshit. I agree with you. So I'm angry at that. So that's my cunt. Yeah. That's my cunt. That is. Yeah. So before we go, um, I have an announcement to make. Oh and, my God. Um, is it a boy or girl? It is neither. It's a food baby. And it's coming out soon. <laughs> um, as the show's over. But Bobby, Bobby is a wonderful gentleman who owns and runs a studio that we, uh, that we broadcast from. Bobby said he has a surprise for us next week. Oh, yeah. I came out of the bathroom and he was like, I have a surprise. Yeah, yeah, that was your surprise for us. And he's got one for us, too. So Bobby's surprise is he's not going to tell us what it is. So it's, we're going to be just as surprised as you are. So be sure to tune in next week to oh, find God. out. Bobby, you want to tell us what the surprise I'm scared. is? I right, don't he tell goes, us. No. Nope. Don't tell us. Just tell the audience. He might fall for that. No. Is that the boiler? I, I will not reveal what the surprise is. All oh my I, God, is that all God? I can tell you is there's two of them. There's two of them. One for each of you. What? 
and you can kind of hold them in your hands. Oh my god. And they're warm sometimes. And hard. Oh my god. <laughs> Bobby. Just... He got us the waiter and the busboy from my big <laughs> Yes. And usually they end up very wet. Wow. Okay, guys, did you, if okay. did everybody hear that? And Warm, you, hard, you, you wanna, can be wet. Yeah, if you want to end up wet or us, something. Uh, this has been fun, ladies. Good night. Have a great week. You too, Anne. Thank you. Thank you. But uh, we got to cut it because yes. we're we're out of time. But um, Bobby is going to bring us something warm, hard, wet, wet. that yeah. we can hold in our hands. And he's going to make two of them. Yeah. Oh, double sided. Oh my God. Uh oh. I don't, I don't know what's going to happen. Can we do it on the table? I don't think so. I don't know. You got to ask so. Bobby. Anyway, you got to tune next next week to find out. That's it for this week. Thank you, and we will see, see you next, next Tuesday. Tuesday.